But, but for these other things, you gotta smoke weed till you get so high that, that the angel of, of weed comes down to you and blesses you with dumbass knowledge. You know, get the fuck out of here with that old Haley Salah. All of these fucking demons and all these other deities are a bunch of bullshit, man. And that's another heavy demon that's on our people. They follow and they just look for something that allows them to do what they're comfortable with doing. That's what religion does. It allows you to follow something that you're comfortable with following. And it gives you the fine tune to what you like. But that was where they meant for that. You're supposed to follow the Heavenly Father, adjust your life to what the Heavenly Father wants you to do, says for you to do. Not the other way, not adjust him to, to the, your lifestyle. Oh, I like to smoke weed though, Lord, so make me a Lord that allows me to smoke weed. Make me a Lord that allows me to, to be a homosexual or whatever else. Back in it says, um, hey, the gods of the other nations, that's, that's basically what it condones, man. Yeah. You know? Amin Ra, he, he condones homosexuality, man. Uh, Geb. <laughs> What kind of shit is uh, uh, one uh, one deity? He, he he puts semen on lettuce and eats it, and then all of a sudden he becomes this <laughs> this figure, and, and he he just got all this power. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What kind of wicked madness? What type of twisted shit is that, man? Yep. And you niggas actually think that that's something praiseworthy? You but you say the Bible's bugged out though. Y'all follow that shit. Hey, if y'all say the Bible plagiarized, you ain't gonna find no stories like that in the scriptures, man. Right. You ain't gonna find no twisted, perverted, sick shit like that in the scriptures. But you'll find stories from the scriptures in these other so-called books. Yeah, that wicked with a twist on it. Yeah, man. The the, the 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 coffin spells, the pyramid texts, all the bugged out madness, and the yeah, sick no. shit that you read in there. It don't match up with the with with uh, what the scriptures is saying. So how could there be any type of, uh, of, of plagiar uh, plagiarizing, man? And, and if they plagiarize, why didn't they plagiarize the prophecies? Exactly. Why didn't they plagiarize the prophecies that have come to pass in this book mm -hmm. over thousands of years ago? How come they didn't plagiarize that? Right. That's what they should have been plagiarizing. How is it that we can't go into the pyramid text and find out that how, how the so-called white man end up getting the world? Right. You know, he gave you your Egyptology, so shouldn't the documentation in your religion be able to explain how this same devil ended up getting the world and putting you in the predicament that you're in now, you and your people? Right. And, and, we, we and got, how you gonna get you out? It, we can't find that in the find that for us in the pyramid text or the coffin spells or in the fucking uh, uh, the the Nume Lish or whatever, man. Bring that out. Because we got the answers in the scriptures, man. Right. He says, uh, Say to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. They yep. want to worship God, but they turn their back from the actual power from of the, the Most High. From the Most High, God. He says, But in the, in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. Yep. That's what you do, oh God. Yeah. Even atheists say, oh God, when well, something dangerous or something's about to happen. Yeah, yeah. Even in that moment, they say, oh God. Yeah. Said, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can, save thee in the time of thy trouble. Hey Amen. The Mosai is, is allowing Esau to get it in, man. Yeah. With these with these police. These police can just start murking you niggas left and right and have no clear reason to do it. He can do it now. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and all you niggas, that's that's not of the elect. That's not following the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Whatever deity that you worship, when 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 when, when an officer got his 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 <laughs> his nine in your face and getting ready to pull it, call on whatever deity that you you think is is the right is is the right God, uh -huh. and see if he's gonna deliver you from that bullet. Yeah. You know, polite, if you happen to be in that situation to where you and your uh, three wives is, is in your car and you get pulled over by a, a Klansman police, policeman, and he and he got that thing on him and he pulls it out, 
see if if if, if Ra or, or or Gab or fucking uh, uh, no matter of fact, see if those three black bitches yeah. in your car that you call God <laughs> is gonna def de defend you gonna from this devil that push, that's getting man. ready to cock and squeeze on your ass, man. Yeah. See if they gonna jump, be, be ready. See to if jump your God them. is gonna get ready to block them bullets with them little nappy afros they got. And I went, you know, they think they're regular niggas when we ain't mad at them for rocking the natural. I ain't mad at you for rocking the natural. <laughs> I'm mad at you for following a different God, though. In particular. Yeah, with the, but the, fuck the woman. She yeah. gonna follow whoever she's uh, getting whoever dicked down the, by. Right. Fuck, whatever you know, power. Whatever God, she, she gonna go for whatever deity the man that's piping her down is worshiping. Right. Go ahead, uh. It says, uh, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise. If they can save thee in, in the time of thy trouble, for according to the number of the cities are thy gods, O Judah. Hey man, it's gonna get so bad, like, hey, it's gonna be martial law, man. You got, you got not only just uh, uh, foreign troops. This devil even got clone troops, man. They might as well be robots. And they gonna be out here praying on you people. When that hour come, them hollow, them hollow, uh, 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 those hollow points that the government ordered a, a year ago, they gonna be getting put to use. Right. Let's see what deity or God or whatever you reverence or bow down to, let's see if that takes you out of that predicament. Yep. You niggas worship money. Let's see if your, your money it's gonna get you out of uh, out of the way of a, a stray hollow point bullet, or 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 a, a concentration camp. Yeah. Let's see if you'll be able to pull out your your your, your Federal Reserve notes and and and, and, and give uh, the, the the troops, you know, try to put put some money in their pocket, to tr so you can go free. The dollar gonna be gone by that time. It's gonna be like you handing out Monopoly money. They're gonna look at you and, and probably just put your ass to death. Do you think we're crazy? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And that shall become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Gonna become such a laughing stock and a joke that they gonna, that they have other names like African American because you niggas are stupid for following Africans like like black because you because you just a color you ain't a shade of brown you ain't a type of people you're you're a color now you know a, a, in their dictionaries considered a bad color you know a negative color you um you've been called everything not just the Negroes. We ain't even gonna get into what they call you Hispanics, man. Us, uh, us Hispanics, they call us all kinds of other shit, man. Wetbacks and so on and so forth. They call us all kinds of messed up names. That that goes back to that because you follow the ways of this heathen. Why why are we trying to break so so heavily into America? Ain't nothing good here. Ain't no gold on the streets like you thought it was supposed to be. Ain't ain't not all of that that you thought of, that American dream is a bunch of bullshit. That's right. You come to a city like Vegas, which you know you have opportunity to, to win that dream of make being that millionaire. A city like a city where I can go put some money on something and then walk out of there a millionaire, go in there with a few hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars, and leave out a millionaire. Right? That rarely happens. You you down there spend hundreds of thousands to come back to your hundreds of thousands. Uh, but that's what the city is about. They give you the illusion that you could come here and make money while taking your money. Yep. And it may happen. And that's how and that's how this place is get keep money flowing. Yep. It's by the illusion of people thinking that they're gonna come and get that money. Well they call it Sin City, because the illusion of this city is so is so heavy out here that, that people believe in it. People uh, yeah. see the bright lights, they walk in and it smells wonderful and it's marble and chandeliers and everything else going on. Then they see money and they see beautiful bright colored chips and, and all of this until they start uh, 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 over, overflowing their bank accounts, overdrafting their bank accounts to, to try to, to make it, yep. you know, just to have that good time. They'll overdraw their bank account and go home in the worst situation. A lot of people get stuck here because they can't go home. 
because they don't, they don't went so broke trying to trying to find a way out of here. The city has stuff set up like that, but but who puts that out there? The most I don't say to do the things that go on in this town. If they tell you don't give your last, give, but don't give your last. You can have a good time, but but within reason. You can get drunk, but don't uh, what did it say? But don't uh, lose uh, your, your the self awareness of, of what's going. On. I forgot how. Don't be a drunkard, pretty much. Right. You could drink in moderation. Right. But out here, this 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 city uh, perpetuates that you can get drunk, and even out in public, man. Right. You're supposed to be in your tent if you're gonna be nice. But out here, you could do pretty much what you wanted to. That you pervert the judgment. Yep. That, that was my point. And that's why this place is called Sin City, because it attracts nothing but wicked, wickedness. That's why everybody in the country, and even in, uh, uh, in, in other countries outside of America, they all come here. A lot of, like, if you, um, if you um, in traffic out here, and you happen to just be driving around, or you gotta get somewhere, Look at the license plate on, on each car, man. Yep. You don't see just Nevada plates. You see fucking Illinois plates, New York plates, New Jersey plates. Yep. Florida. You see plates from every fucking state. County, here, everywhere. living Arizona, like here in fucking Utah, Vegas, man. Washington, everywhere. Because Texas, yep. everywhere. You see it here. Yep. Because this place attracts wickedness. It's the melting and, and everybody, pot of wickedness. Yep, and everybody's drawn to that vibration. Yep. Everybody's is is, is uh, they take pleasure in, in their lust, and this place right here, you can you can fulfill whatever uh, uh, lust that you have here in this in this city. That's what this city is all was built for. That's why we don't we we wouldn't marvel if there's no elect out here. If the Lord sent us out here just to condemn this place, just like the Lord uh, 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 sent uh, Abraham and, and Lot over there in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah. And they and, and they and only a few souls made it up out of there. It, it might have to be the same way here, man. Yep. Let's not forget, only Lot and his daughters made it out. Yep. It, it, wicked ass mom <laughs> didn't even make it out. You know what I'm saying? Lot's wife. She was pretty much like uh, Job's wife. Yep. You know. And that's how our women are nowadays, anyway. And that's how they, they are. They see all the fun, so-called fun that the heathens are having in this society, and they want to follow those ways. Hell yeah, man. Our women are, are, are super heathens, man. The, Israel, the Negro woman and Hispanic woman, these are, them are like heathen women right there, they, man. They make the men heathens. Hell yeah. They force the men into following the customs of heathens so they can be comfortable. Hell yeah. And then the, so the men can be with that woman. Well, ain't no woman that good, man. I ain't met, I've yet to met a woman or meet a woman in the flesh that's that good. That make me follow her wisdom the only woman that I follow. Yeah. Hey, in the in, in the in the gospels, pretty much, and in the epistles, if you not if you not call yourself an Israelite and you're not keeping the, the law, statutes, commandments, and you acknowledge yourself as everything else, you're considered a, a, a pretty much a heathen, whether yeah. you're an Israelite by lineage or not. Hellenist. You're a Hellenist, and a lot of our women that are uh, uh, in the world, are some heathen hoes, man. Yeah. And, and, and you niggas uh, among Israel that be uh, trying to uh, put up that whole facade about, you know, you, you dudes over there at Great Millstone, y'all like to deal with, deal with the heathen woman that's outlawed uh, in, in, in the law. That's prohibited, so like that's prohibited in the law. But I'm pretty sure you're, uh, you might have had a wife or you have a wife that pretty much, if she ain't down with this, she, she a heathen, man. You got you a heathen. You marrying the heathen right now. Yep. She ain't calling herself a, 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 a Israelite. She, she probably, she probably go to church. Woman. Yeah, she probably a, a, a Muslim or she go to church uh, every Sunday. You know? If you get you an Israelite woman, but she's worshiping something else, man, that bitch, she a heathen too, man. Yep. You marrying within your lineage, I'll give you that, but you can't, you can't come with that argument about brothers dealing with uh, with heathen women because we ain't marrying them. Right. Brothers just pop them. We know they can't get in the way of, 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 of our uh, worship, our faith. Because, you know, to, to not go off, I turned out to, to be with, with Jake, you know, the women who love Jake. You know, so I don't have to treat them like like I would a wife. <laughs> right. You know, that's, that's why 
you, it, 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 it's better to deal with heathen women, so you don't have to, to worship them, not worship them, but our women want, them, want you to worship them on the side. Yep. So to they not have to, to follow down. all of that bullshit. They want you to bow down. Man. Right. And not to have to deal with that, it's better just to deal with the heathen. And the heathen know the order. They remember the order and they keep the order. And if they get out of order, they just testing to see if you're going to bow down like they know that Jake usually bow down. Yep. Or you might want to check if that's the, that's the, the Jake woman. Yep. But, but you know, some of us deal with, 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 with our own women, some of us deal with heathen women. But you're supposed to deal accordingly. I'm, I'm not saying that I only deal with heathen women or I only deal with Jake women. I'm just saying there's, there's benefits to both sides. But it's hard for me in particular to deal with a woman that's straight up trying to be like the heathen, that ain't going to try to pick up some of these customs to make my job easier. I ain't gonna just let her just bring holy hell on me, bro. Fuck that. Anyway, let's go back. Let's go I'd rather back. I'd, I'd rather my woman to, to be a, a, a unbelieving, but she's true to herself, than just some bugged out bitch. That's just right. you know, right? You know, just, you know, right. You, you might be some women that you know they they respect it, but that, they that, can't the point exactly. they can't get all the way. They know it's not totally for them. That's exactly what I'm then saying. Then a woman that's just, she's totally devout to some other deity or yep. some other, you know, madness, man. Hey, hey the, 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 the pitfalls the elders talk about and the apostles talk about, you know, throughout the year they said, uh, but a woman that's too deep into the truth too can be dangerous. Yep. That can be more dangerous. Yes, sir. That can be more dangerous, you yes, know. Yes, sir. And we, we hear, and we hear about that amongst you, you other Israelite groups, how, how, how the women get down in the congregation. <laughs> you know? You read both those scriptures you had? Yeah. The yeah. Deuteronomy and then what was the other one? It was one in Psalms. That, uh, yeah, Psalms, that's the one. Because yeah. so that, 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 that was in the curses we read in Deuteronomy. Right, right, right. Huh. It's, um... Like, six, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, let me get it real quick. Uh, Psalms chapter... No, not a lot. Bear with me for a second. Yeah. Then, for any brother that got the 1611, <laughs> the pages are so damn thin, it would take forever to, to, to get to the page. This is uh, Psalms 106, verse 35. But we're mingled, I'm going to start at 33. Because they provoke his spirit so that he speak unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. And this is talking about when, when Israel uh, went into the land of Canaan. They were supposed to take, they were supposed to wipe the Canaanites out and destroy their altars, they they gods, all that shit. But Israel didn't do it, man. They they got curious and shit. What is that? What's that you know? all about? And next thing you know, <laughs> just like how Jake do today, man. They get curious and want to be different. And become heathens, you know. Yep. It says because it looks like it has more power in, yep. in what they doing than what the, 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 the spirit of the Alvaro Shai has going. Yep. But, Verse thirty-five. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And learn their works. Learn the ways of the heathen. Didn't it tell us in Jeremiah not to learn the way of the heathen. You know, but but even today we still want to take it on the ways of the heathen. It said, learn their works, because you get curious, you want to you see, oh, let's see if their way works. And it looks like it's working for them, it's got to work, but, you but got, we're not them. You got some uh, tribes among um, the Gad, the, uh, the Gadites mm -hmm. down there in, uh, I don't know if they Gad, they, uh, they they of Israel, but down there in the, um, the Amazon in South America, you got a lot of uh, uh, so-called Indians or indigenous that 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 are heavy into hermetic shit, man. Mm -hmm. They they dress all naked. They they paint themselves. They even wear lip plates, mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. just like uh, the hamites hey, do, man. Just like them gauges are, are wearing the gauges awesome. in the ears. I'm glad you brought it up. The gauges yep. that y'all that y'all wear, that Jake wear nowadays, that's hermetic. Cause where's all these tattoos? All up on your neck and all of that. That's not the way of our. They people. live in the forest, and and them them, them them Israelites down there in the forest, man. They they look straight up like like uh, the Indian Indian uh, the, the, the the Indian version of, uh, of of Ham man 
straight up doing the same shit that they that they do and, and, and how did they get that the Hamites used to come over here yeah. that's where the old Ho the Omec uh, thing came about yeah. because the, 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 the Hamites used to get sent over here to, to get uh, certain resources and bring it back yeah, to the so eastern they, world they knew how and, to get over and when they came over here uh, uh, the northern kingdom mainly uh, uh, Gad and, and whatever, whatever other tribe that was down in, in the, uh, the Americas, they looked to them and, and started get, taking on their ways, man. Yep. When they were supposed to be over here keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you know. And it tells you that in sec in, in prophecy in Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. Yep. They came over here to get away from all the other nations, all yep. the other heathen nations. Talking about the ten tribes. Because so, they couldn't keep the law without following the, the, the gods of the other nations. But when they came over here, they were kind of doing it. As soon as anybody showed up over here, they started picking up whatever they were doing. Yep. And treat it like it's tradition and custom. Everybody that... that, 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 that come, come, come. come, come. Um, verse 36. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. If you ever seen that movie Apocalypto, that goes a lot into what the brother was saying, and they even had the sacrifices in that movie as well. And they put them up on the uh, on that pyramid, the uh, 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 Mayan and uh, Aztec pyramids and all of that, and they was killing each other. Yep. The same people, same people killing each other because they, they had different tribes of, uh, of the heathen nations coming over there, twisting them up. Yep, sacrificing unto devils, man. Right. Another way of saying it is, is the sacrifice to a, a demons. Just like in the industry, when, uh, when Jake sell, sell their soul, they gotta make a sacrifice Baphomet. to Baphomet, which is an androgynous demon. That's, that's basically what they have to do to be accepted in the gang power on the left hand side. That's, that's nothing new, nothing new under the sun. You know? uh, verse 38. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. I also want to bring in how the Celts did that as well. Because a lot of the Celts and the um, like Irish and Scottish, the Celts and, um, and the Druids, a lot of them were Jakes. But they were doing a lot of uh, sacrificing as well. They're doing a lot of sacrificing as well, their own children. You know, that's where that whole uh, Halloween uh, custom comes from, you know? And it's no different than they do over on the islands, you know? They do that over there as well. So, I mean, our, our people keep trying to follow the way of these heathens, man. We got we to gotta cut that shit out. We come back to your natural uh, uh, nationality, your biblical nationality. Well, two-thirds of our people, they're going to die heathens, man. Yeah. Only the elect is going to... Uh, uh